Ever since we climbed Vesper and the other peaks around Vesper Lake, we've wanted to repeat that with Gothic Basin. So when we needed a training backpacking trip, we decided to load up our packs and do another overnight. Yep, here's the turn off. The first part of the trail is pretty level, only climbing about 500 feet in two miles. Don't fall in! Right after the creek though, the trail gets significantly steeper, gaining 1,400 feet in a mile. Ah, I'm pretty sure you can do it. Eventually. Can you see this all the No, no. That is pretty. Oh, look at the flowers, the Indian deep brushes. Yep. As we were hiking up, everybody coming down warned us about the snow bridge of the first waterfall. So when we got there, we knew to climb down around it instead of crossing. And from below, you can really see how thin the bridge actually is. We paused here so that I could get some drone shots of the bridge, which led to me crashing the drone, scrambling all over to try to find it, before luckily locating it on the other side of the creek. Right after the first waterfall, there's another gorgeous waterfall. This one in a very narrow slot, which kept going up and up, so obviously we had to stop again. After about half a mile and another 500 feet up, we came across a giant tree blocking the trail, which required some climbing up and traversing around. Right after the tree is another waterfall, this one with big downward slanting steps. Next comes a steeper section with a lot of rocky areas. After about half a mile and 600 feet, we reached a lacy waterfall with a cool snow formation on the side. A short while later, there's another small waterfall with a pretty melted snow field right under it. Pretty soon after this, we got to the final saddle covered in snow that leads right into Gothic Basin. You want to go check out the bathroom? It's to the left. See the sign? Oh, whoa. I think it's all broken. It. Yeah. Okay. So there's the first lake. Looks like somebody's camping to the left of it. And um, wait, can you see the second lake from here? Is I think the there? second lake is uh, to the right there in oh. that basin. Uh, so and like see. that thing to your right, up there, mm -hmm. that's, uh, I think that's Del Campo. Mm -hmm. And the thing to the, l one of the things to the left is Gothic Peak. How's it going? Tired. Why? Because we walked a lot. We decided to keep going up the foggy lake, which required crossing some small snow fields, going up a bunch of slabs. Yeah. You see like the crystals in the... I know. Good campsites were hard to find, but eventually we found a flattish spot, set up our tent, and started making dinner. Completely disorganized campsite. By Foggy Lake, under Del Campo, with a full moon rising out of the mountains. I don't think that'll come out on the GoPro, but it looks sweet from here.
And we're heading off. We're gonna try to get Del Campo first and then head up to Gothic. Let's see if we can find enough Carns to guide us on our way up there. The path up was fairly obvious, around a small lake to the right and up a ridge. We met a couple also going up Del Campo and ended up switching leads several times depending on who was on the correct path. Eventually we ended up on the scree field underneath the face uh, with a couple of snow fields. This was pretty annoying as all scree fields are. Eventually we made it up to the big gully. Don't go up there. Instead, start climbing the large face to the left of the gully. The climbing here is fairly straightforward, with lots of options and a lot of solid holds. Yeah. I would not trust that thing that you're grabbing for a handhold. Eventually we made it up to the saddle where you can see the other side of the valley and the big flat faces that are visible from the Morning Glory area. Here we did a sharp left and started climbing the face that's now visible uh, right by the pretty steep edge. I can't believe we climbed up all that. I know. This next section was probably the hardest, but it's also pretty well protected with uh, solid trees behind you. Then we kept traversing back and forth across the face, finding the easiest route, following some carns. So keep traversing to the right. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Whoa. The final climb up to the summit was on big blocks along the obvious ridge climbers left. We ate a small snack, signed the summit register, enjoyed the fantastic views all around, and then headed back down. The way down wasn't much harder than the way up, and eventually we made it back down to the scree field. Now we need to make it over to Foggy Pass down there. I was following a GPS track from a previous climb, but we were doing it backwards, and this section ended up being significantly harder than I expected. It was steep with a lot of loose rock. I think that I think that was the sketchiest part. And here's Foggy Pass. Traverse over here is pretty heinous. On the ridge right after Foggy Pass, there's a fantastic flat campsite. I would love to come back to at some point. Here we just walked up the easy slabs, aiming for the base of Gothic Peak. But as we got closer, we saw the big snow field that we'd have to cross. So instead, we decided to go above it and aim for the big notch right at the northern tip of it. The climb up to the notch was fairly solid, and we decided to climb the north ridge that looked doable. Mostly stayed to the right of the ridge, 
sometimes climbing back onto the ridge. Ended up being all class three. Careful, that's a pretty big drop. That's impressive. The thing that you're sitting on. Dude, this traverse is insane. Welcome to the summit of Gothic Peak. Is it tastier after doing something scary yeah. and hard? Climb down is pretty obvious, but it definitely requires the use of hands, so still stays class three for a while. I recently learned that this feature between the rock and the snow is called a rand cluft. I'm not sure if we followed the correct way down, because we had to do some walking down some pretty angled slabs with lots of exposure so. on the sides. Run! Run! How is this snow travel, Andrew? My feet are wet. I don't it's care. Faster than scrambling. It is faster than scrambling. And we're back at camp. Oh clouds are rolling in. It's fantastic. We might get shade on the way out. Oh man, what an epic trip so far. We did not get shade on the way out. The way out was long and tiring and annoying, but eventually we got to the car. <laughs> 